Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and welcome to this special edition of Fixing the Money Thing, Faith Hunt. You know, a lot of people put a lot of time and money into purchasing and owning the best equipment, but still come home empty-handed. There's reasons, and in today's edition, we're gonna talk about how to get on target, how to make sure you hit the mark, today on Faith Hunt, the special edition. Get the arrow in here. Seat the arrow all the way back. Safety off. And we'll take the shot. Pretty high. I'm going to make some adjustments here on the, on the bow and we will try again and get it on target. Safety off, let's try it again. I can't see it. Let's go down and see where it hit. Oh, I still shot high. But I've got it lined up this direction. I just got to drop it down lower. Let's try it again. Before we're hunting, it's good to have it on sight. If you fail, you continue. Hold on, here we go. You keep preparing and practicing until you are confident to hit the spot. So another adjustment or two and safety is off. Let's try this again. Wow, I think I hit, I think I did good. <laughs> Let's go find out. Yes. That's good enough. I'll take it. Probably the difference is just my shooting. We're ready to go, almost. We still have some things to do, but at least we know the bow's hitting where we aim, and that's important. There's nothing better than feeling confident about your machinery and your equipment and your preparation. But we're still not done yet. Even though I have the equipment sighted in, ready to go, where do I go? I get a lot of people that email me and say, okay, where do I go? I got the principles, but where do I go? Let's go back to Luke chapter five, and I think we'll find our answer. Luke chapter five is the story we just read earlier where we find them catching that huge catch of fish where they prepared for that catch by washing their nets and being aware of the natural side of things, the details and taking care of the things they're responsible to take care of in anticipation and preparation for the harvest. But there's one more aspect in this story we may have missed. Let's go back and take a look at it. When Jesus had borrowed Peter's boat and had taught the people, after that, he said, put out into the deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon Peter said, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I'll let down the nets. When they'd done so, again, they caught such a large number of fish, their nets began to break. They signaled their partners. They caught two boats full, again, so full, they almost sank. A fantastic catch. But here's the, here's, the, here's the key. Notice that Jesus said to Peter to put his nets out over there in the deep water. You see, Jesus gave him a specific location for the nets. They'd washed their nets. They are prepared. They're on the lake. They have their boats, but they need to be in the right spot. Obviously, they'd fished all night and caught nothing at all. So Jesus says to them, Peter, go over here in the deep water. When it comes to hunting, it's very important that you're in the right spot at the right time. When you're in business, it's important you have the right product, the right market 
at the right time. How do we catch these right spots? Obviously in the natural, I can go out and search the woods and I can look for the prints and I have my side. I can by myself discern where I should be sitting and waiting for the deer. You may know how to fish. You may say, well, there's a great evidence that fish are feeding here, but there's another way that helps us as believers. It's called the Holy Spirit. Jesus received revelation by the Holy Spirit of where the fish were at. We call that, or I should say the Bible calls that in 1 Corinthians, a gift of the Spirit called the word of knowledge. Something you don't know, heaven is able to help you with direction and concepts you're currently unaware with. Now, in this particular case, go over there in the deep water, and there they found the fish. I don't know why they were there, but the Holy Spirit knew they were there, and they were able to catch that harvest. I know in my personal life that the business that I created, when Drenda and I were so in debt we couldn't even buy groceries, having a dream in the night, God said to start this business and do it this way. By following that exact example of what the Holy Spirit had told me in the dream, we prepared, we did our part, we had to learn about computers, we had to learn a lot of things about business, but as we walked it out, that business became the harvest that set us free from debt. You see, right now, you may look on your horizon and feel like it's hopeless. Maybe you think, there's nothing I can do. I don't have any ability. I have fished all night and caught nothing. In my case, I had been selling financial products for years and failing. You know, I mean, I was surviving, but I was essentially failing, going further in debt every year. And if I scanned my horizon and my possibilities and my ability itself, I would come up with the same conclusion. This just ain't working. I got to find something else to do. But really, the tools I had were sufficient. My preparation was sufficient, but I needed to know, make a few adjustments, and it changed direction and location and launched a brand new business, with, which actually set us free. So as we're here today talking about faith hunt, you know, I say this, everyone hunts for something. You may not be a deer hunter, but for me, this is how God taught me about life how his kingdom operated through hunting. But you hunt for something. Everyone hunts for something. They can hunt for whatever they have need of. You need to find it. And the Holy Spirit is your answer to find that need. So by the Holy Spirit, you have access to mysteries, the Bible says, things that you don't know, a word of knowledge. And that's called praying in the Spirit, listening to God's Spirit, listening for those supernatural strategies that you have not thought of, you maybe not even known existed, but God does. I have a great resource that might help you. If you're interested in learning more about the Holy Spirit, you can contact our office, go to my website, garyxie.com, and find information about the Holy Spirit in my book, The Baptism of the Holy Spirit. Behind me, you'll see our woods. This is the woods we've owned for many years, but I wanna show you as we bought this property, I began to pray and ask God, where do I go? Because it's brand new, I've never been here before. And let me show you where he took me and led me to put my tree stand, which is produced every single year since I've lived here. Let's go to the woods. Here it is. This is the tree right here. Moved to the property. God led us to this tree. I prayed about it. And uh, it's situated perfectly for the pattern the deer feed and move into bedding areas. And like I said, we've gotten deer every single year out of this tree. Location, 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 they say, right? Well, we talked about preparation, location. The Holy Spirit's ability to give you information that you don't have about direction for your life. Hey, pretty high up. Deer can't see me. But God knew it was there, and he led us to the spot. And he's going to lead you to the spot you need to be as well. The ideas he has, marketing he has, wisdom he has, because he has, you have. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit in you has your answers. Go to garrickc.com, get the information, learn how the Holy Spirit speaks, how to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. 
prepare, do your part. God does his part. When they intersect, we have harvest and life is good. I need to go check this stand out to make sure everything is good from last year. I'm just going to climb up here and take a look, make sure, all right? Until next time, we'll see you right here on Fixing the Money Thing. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing, and thanks for watching.